resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hello, my Next Level friend. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Artist Next Level podcast. This is a special edition episode in which I am interviewing artists from around the world as they are stuck at home during the coronavirus lockdown. With me today, I'm super excited because I have a good friend, my friend Sijia Chen, who's joining us all the way from China. Sijia, welcome to the show. How are you? How are you? Thank you for having me. Good seeing you too. And hi, everyone. Excellent. No, it's super happy to see you. And CJ and I, we go back, I don't know, to some um, 10 years or so that we've known each other. And she yeah. was in one of the shows I curated uh, that was called the National Wet Paint MFA Exhibition. She was uh, actually uh, the award winner of that year. And uh, we kind of became friends and we have uh, been connecting yeah. uh, on and off. We haven't seen each other in person for a long time. How, however, it, uh, always exchanging a message here and there uh, through social media and um, as we started going through the situation of the coronavirus and so on and I saw that some of the posts that you had done that you were in China so I, I thought it would be really great to kind of chat with you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? where exactly you are at? So I'm uh, in Shantou right now. Shantou is a small coastal city in southeast of China. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, about five hours uh, drive from Hong Kong okay. and about another five hours from Guangzhou with directly east from Guangzhou. So we're okay. far from the center of this cri cri uh, crisis, which is Wuhan. Mm -hmm. We're quite far from there. Uh, okay. Shanto, fortunately, is not um, very uh, severely impacted by mm -hmm. the virus. However, we, I have been, we have been on, um, similar to a lockdown it's not left act it's not like an official lockdown but it's similar yeah. to a lockdown since january 23rd i would say wow so since january 20th your city has been in is it total lockdown word so the um, so it's the lockdown is different than the lockdown in wuhan people mm -hmm. can still here people can still go out to uh, shopping for our grocery shoppings and essential shoppings but then uh, restaurants bars entertainments they're all closed down and people are encouraged uh, and for an extended period actually required to stay at home as okay. much as they can yeah okay. so I I was for, I was home for five weeks without leaving a step was yeah wow Wow. Yeah. And, and uh, for our friends who don't know, no, so normally you uh, spend your time uh, because you are based in LA, in Los Angeles. I am, I am. So I came back to Shantos to spend the Chinese New Year with my parents. Uh -huh. I arrived in, on that January 21st, which was exactly when the virus or the, the severe the situation okay, how bad it is was made aware to the public and everyone went sort of panic mode right. a little bit similar to what's happening unfortunately in america right now right right exactly yeah for us here in chicago it's only been a few days where kind of like shops are closing down restaurants are closing down so we're just kind of getting into that and you know as i speak to more artists it's like the first couple of days well, because first you see it far away. It's in some, some other city. It's happening to other people. Then yeah. when it comes to closer to where you're at, it's like the first couple of days, 24 hours, like the shock, right? Like, oh my goodness, you know, it's here and, you know, what's happening. And then after that, it's like the processing. Okay, so this is a new reality, right? And kind of like that's where we are here in the United States, just figuring it out. Like, okay, it looks like this is going to be like this for a while. So I arrived in January 1st, uh, 21st. And it's March 18th, so it's been two months. And the first five weeks, I didn't leave the door at all. And okay. then in the past couple of weeks, I went out for, I would say, three or four times. And from what I understand, the situation is, uh, is getting better, right? It is getting better in China because people were really cooperating in terms of the practicing the social distancing. Yeah. Um, so it has calmed down drastically across China uh, and 
but unfortunately the rest of the world seems to be getting worse the beginning right the beginning stages of it yeah i would i would really take this opportunity to encourage everyone watching this show stay at home Mm -hmm. as much as you can keep a distance at least right with people wash your hands frequently don't panic but do prepare to right. stay home for extended period um it, it like you said it's really hard in the beginning it's just like a shock and people right. start panic buying and then you see stores sold out mm-hmm. and then it was like oh my god what are we going to do but then right. we managed yeah, exactly. You know, I think uh, at the end, uh, you know, as, as I've been looking and following many uh, other people that I know, which is kind of what I prefer, you know, if we, you first you find things in the news, but the news are always bombarding you with so many things and there's so many yeah. types of news. But I'd like to, to see if people like you and others that I know that, that are in other parts of the world and see what they're saying, see what their stories are. And that's kind of like, you know, when like, Let's let's uh, let's have some these conversations to help you know everybody because this is now no longer something that you see on the news but that is coming to see major cities around the world and we are all dealing with it and I think as an art community we can also encourage each other out and see how we are living or or artist life and that's we want to talk a little bit about about you and your work uh, so we have one of your paintings in the back yeah so <laughs> so after the after the craziness went down a little bit i managed to get some canvas and i stretched them and i'm working on the new piece here as you can see mm-hmm. so i the media the medium i'm using is actually papers i use all those news reports through the coronavirus and the magazine put and then i, I use i do paper cuts with them this is like a small example oh wow it's almost like a collage and it's like like a collage okay um that i put them together as a mountain so this is the detail of my painting and okay. as you can see i am using paper cuts i'm using this the paper uh, the sources i'm using is all the media reports of the coronavirus oh really this okay is, yeah mo- mostly in china the chinese mm-hmm. clips because when i was mm-hmm. doing this is you know, china really was and has been the epicenter of right. the virus situation. so you're in a way that through your word documenting uh, also mm-hmm. but it not in a literal manner, but documenting a lot of the print media that's coming out related to the virus. Exactly. That's my way as an artist to record this, I would say, this history that we're living in, this moment, mm-hmm. this, um, this disaster we're all going through. This is my way of keeping a record in a mm-hmm. very personal way, through paper cut, through the news report clippings, the magazines, all of those. Yeah. yeah. My dad is a paper cut artist. He oh. practices traditional paper cut. So it's my way of sort of carrying the tradition, paying mm-hmm. tribute to where I'm coming from. And mm-hmm. in this case, I find it very appropriate to record the moment because all this material are literally happening mm-hmm. right now. Right now, yeah. And there's no lack of material in that sense as the uh, news and situations continues to evolve worldwide. But it's so exactly. it's, it's creating this exactly. beautiful this beautiful web of material that uh, uh, you know it's a, it, it's it's such a interesting and beautiful surface. Thank you, and I and uh, so working on that is sort of like a self meditation because mm-hmm. I feel oftentimes when I'm doing when I'm going through this crisis, I'm being cooked up at home for so long. It's quite uneasy i would say Mm -hmm. so for me doing paper cuts going through all this material it's a form of meditation for me Mm -hmm. and it calmed myself down and made me realize that it forced me to know that i have to be calm because i'm still doing something and it helps me manage my emotions and Mm -hmm. at times anxiety um, during Mm -hmm. this crisis Uh, i also do public art let me click on that. And yeah. we are at cjchen.com. cjchen.com, exactly. So this is, uh, for public art, this is uh, called Arbor. It's in Claremont City Hall. Uh, mm. This is one called SWA in Shanto International, Chaoshan International Airport. Um, this is the first, first piece I did incorporating paper cut. 
and it's actually since then I started using paper cut. Before that, it was two thousand. Uh, this is was two thousand seventeen. Before that, I mainly use painting and acrylic when it comes to my work. But then after I incorporated paper cut into my installation, mm -hmm. I realized yeah. the importance of paper cut in my life uh, as mm. part of who I am. It's a mm -hmm. sort of family tradition. So yes. I then starting to use paper cut in my paintings and and also art form of uh, other 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 projects. Yeah, uh, yeah, other projects. Thank you. And this is called Tea and Trees. Another installation or sculpture in Chaosha International Airport. Mm. Um, and here you can see the paintings here, but I guess the viewers can explore if they are interested exactly. in this. Exactly, that's fabulous. And where can our friends find you on Instagram? So my Instagram is cjchin uh, art. So this is a newest project I just finished in North Kansas City, wow. Missouri. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called Bloom. Uh, mm. it's, it's a flower wow. with the cut and the images in, in, in images on each panel is inspired by local scener, uh, sceneries and local histories and cultures. Hmm. It's to be finished. The installation is done, but the ground need to be, uh, the cement need to be poured and everything. Wow, that's amazing. And I love that it has uh, also kind of like the essence of the paper cutouts uh, mm -hmm. within itself, right? The, with the symbolism and the imagery that's within each of those leaves or shapes, you know, reminiscence yes. to the paper cutouts. Yes, exactly. That's, thank you. That's very really cool. Well, Cynthia, thank you so much for sharing, you know, your art, your stories, the things that are, uh, you know, the updates with what's happening there for you as well. We want to wish uh, also you and your family uh, safety and uh, wellness, you know, we hope that you can uh, come back here, back to uh, United States very soon as well. And uh, also I also want to say, uh, give a big hug and a big thank you to your husband because he has been in our show in my podcast before uh, when uh, he talked about uh, how to manage your your taxes. So yes, he, exactly. Was, yeah, I don't know if you remember, but uh, that was a couple of years I ago. Do. <laughs> I <laughs> and, do, I do now. Yeah, and exactly. let him know let him know that we still send people to that podcast you know when artists say hey Sergio I'm, I know how should I get better prepared for my taxes like here's the link here's a link so uh -huh. uh, you know the information he shared with us is still being very much used for you know the art community let me know if you can be or I can be any use absolutely absolutely so thank, thank you, you thank you both of you for all you do as well we appreciate you we miss you here and uh, sending you big hugs Sergio, I want to thank you for having me. It's always great to chat with you. I also want to wish you and your family and everyone watching the show, wish all of you well, stay safe and um, stay put. And we, I'm sure we can tough this through. Absolutely. Thank you so much, CJ. We appreciate you. Thank you to all friends for watching this Brefa with Sergio episode. Share it with your friends. That's something that CJ and I will be so happy to know if you are sharing it with more of your artist friends. Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.